in the last class we were able to look at how to value goodwill uh, in partnership that is the ability of the business to continue to make profit year in year out so we look at various methods of valuing the goodwill but after valuing the goodwill there's a need to account for the goodwill in the books of the partnership so this class we are going to be looking at accounting for goodwill and revaluation of assets now having established goodwill to be the ability of a business to make profit you know uh, continuously there are reasons for valuing goodwill in partnership and some of the reasons are one admission of a new partner so when uh, partners are in a particular business and then it is possible for them to want to bring in a new partner in that case goodwill uh, can be valued we have retirement of an old partner that is where you have partners in a particular business it could be maybe you and your friends and then one of you decide to retire from the partnership you know there might be a need to value goodwill and then it's possible when we have change in profit and loss sharing ratio for some reason it's possible that uh, the partners want to have a change in the interest in terms of what sharing a formula of the profit and losses so where there's a decision to do that it's also possible to have uh, goodwill to be valued another reason is amalgamation of partners that is bringing uh, two or more partnership into one so there's also the possibility of having goodwill in that scenario so basically uh, these are uh, the most reasons or some of the situations in which uh, goodwill can be what valued in a partnership business now we'll be looking at uh, recognizing goodwill in the partnership book so what i'm saying is that after valuing the goodwill and there's a need to recognize it in the partnership books so basically uh you can have goodwill in existence we already know that uh goodwill is the business's ability to continue to make profit so it is possible to have goodwill in existence but not yet shown in the accounting book so it is now uh uh the the, the decision of the partners involved in the business to decide to bring the goodwill into the books of the partnership so with this whenever the partners now decide to bring the goodwill into the books then remember that goodwill is an intangible asset so uh, it will make your assets to increase that other assets will increase as goodwill and then your capital that's the partner's capital will increase as well so basically you're debiting the goodwill account and then you're crediting the partner's capital account. So what I'm saying is that your goodwill account, no, your goodwill is an asset. I said in a double entry class, when your asset is increasing, you debit, okay? So, and when your asset is decreasing, you credit. Capital is a liability, okay? That's the, uh, the, 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 the debt of the business to the owner. So I told you, I said liability, when they increase, you credit. When it decreases debt so in this scenario goodwill is an asset so the goodwill is increasing from zero to maybe like one million to two million to whatever value so you debit your good which is an asset and then your capital account which is also what increasing so you credit your what your capital account so basically where you or uh, the partners decide to bring the goodwill into what into the books you debit your goodwill as a result of the increase in the value and then you credit your partner's capital as a result of your increase in the value and now for you to share the goodwill among the partners you use the what old sharing ratio you use the old sharing ratio that is the way to account for the book uh, for the goodwill in the books of the uh, account and remember that you're creating a partner's capital account because the capital account allows excesses to come into what it if the capital account is a fixed capital account then that means that the excess will go to where the partner's current account i think i've discussed that in the previous classes so you must put that at the back of your mind
Now, after recognizing the value of the good in the books, partner may now also decide to write off the goodwill from the accounting books. So what we're saying is that you have a goodwill, you have recognized it. Okay, now after recognizing it, you can now decide to write it off. So in this case, it means that uh, your goodwill, which is an asset, will decrease and your partner's capital will what? also what? Uh, decrease. And I already told you that if your asset is decreasing, you credit. If your liability is decreasing, you debit. Don't forget your what? double entry for assets, liabilities, expense and income if you have missed that class i uh, check that out on a, a youtube channel jadus consulting check out the class for what a double entry for assets liabilities income and expenses so in this case google is an asset google is decreasing because we're writing it off so what do we do we credit goodwill being an asset and then the partner's capital account will decrease okay so what do you do you debit what the partner's uh, capital account but in this case you're going to be sharing the goodwill in the new sharing ratio now this is an illustration showing how to recognize goodwill in the books here yeah, we want to recognize goodwill in the book so let's see the question so we have the following is the balance sheet of X and Y as at 31st December 2009. X and Y share profit in ratio 2 to 3 and decided to admit Z into the partnership. Upon admission, it was agreed that profit and loss ratio should be what equally among the what, three partners. Z is to bring in 200,000 naira in cash as what? Capital. So here is the what? Balance sheet. Statement of financial position as at 31st December 2009. So we have the word non current asset, land and building, motor vehicle equipment. Here are the values. We have current asset, cash at bank debtors. Here are the values. So total asset is this. Now we have liabilities, creditors. We have this term loan. We have this. Partners capital. We have X and Y. This, this. So this. So your total liability is called your total asset. But then this is the balance sheet before the admitted word Z. So they are now saying that. A, show the necessary account, assuming that a good bill of 350000 is to be what? Recognized. So here they are saying that we should show how the accounts look like if we have to recognize goodwill. And then they said B, show the necessary account to write off the goodwill after the what? Admission. So the first one here now is for us to recognize the what? The goodwill. So... Remember, uh, we said that uh, for the goodwill to come into, into the book, uh, what do we do? We must what, debit the asset account to bring it into, what, into the book, and then we share the goodwill among the what, partners, okay? We share the goodwill among the partners in their what, old sharing ratio. So here is the partner's capital account. This is the balance brought forward from the balance sheet. You can see X 280, Y 270 is in the question. Here, partner's capital account X is 280,000, Y is 270,000. This is what you have here. Now, they said what? Z brought in cash. Cash, look at it here. They said um, they decided to admit Z into the partnership. Upon admission, it was agreed that PNL should be shared equally among the part three partners. Z was to bring in 200,000 in cash as capital. So this is Z's cash. You can see it under Z column there. Remember, when you credit capital, you debit what? Cash. So this is the cash account. You can see balance brought forward. This is the cash account. Balance brought forward from the balance sheet. Here, look at the cash account here for the 5,000. Balance brought forward. Okay? And this is the capital that's what? Z brought 200,000. Credit capital, debit cash. So here is capital account credited 200,000. Cash account debited 200,000. Okay? Now let's share the goodwill. I told you if you're recognizing the goodwill for the first time, okay, you share it among the partners in their what? Old profit sharing ratio. So if you're using the old profit sharing ratio, it means you're only using two to three, which is among the what? The old partners. So the old sharing ratio is two to three. As I said, then Z is not in uh, the what the loop, so you cannot add um, the new partner into it. So it's the old partner that we shared because it's the old sharing ratio. So what's the old sharing ratio? Two over what three? 
okay so two sorry two and two to two ratio two to three so two plus three is five so for x two divided by five multiplied by what is the good bill three hundred and fifty thousand that will give you 140,000. Then for y, 3 divided by 5 multiplied by what? 350,000. That will give you 210,000. So we have shared the goodwill. So here you balance the accounts here. So for x, you have 280 plus 140. That's what? 420,000. Y, you have 270 plus 210. That's 480,000. Z, you have 200,000. So there's no debit to the account because there's no withdrawal. So total here minus the total in X credit minus total in, in Y in X and debit. So total in X credit is 420. Total in X debit is zero. So 420 minus zero will give you balance card of 420. The same thing for Y credit here, 480. There's nothing in debit. So 480 minus zero will give you balance card of 480. Z here is 200,000. There's no debit for Z. So 200,000 minus zero gives you 200,000. So balance carry down makes both the debit side to be equal to the credit side. So balance carry down becomes balance brought down here. For what? X, 420,000. Y, 480Z, uh, 200,000. That tells you that the capital of X, Y, and Z has been adjusted due to what? The share of goodwill. Okay? So X is now 420,000. That's from 280 to what? 420. Y from 270 to what 480. Z from zero to what 200,000. So the cash at bank now has increased. Balance brought forward is 45,000 from the question. You can see. And then Z brought in 200,000. So that becomes 245,000. So the debit side is 245,000 minus zero in the credit side. Balance guidance is 245,000. So both sides are equal. So this becomes balance brought down here 245,000. So now let's look at the balance sheet. That's the new balance sheet after admitting Z. So this is the statement of financial positions at the first December 2009. So X, Y, and Z. Okay, they are now three partners. So what is the land and building? It's 240,000 based on the question. Okay. Motor vehicle is 270,000 based on the what? Question. Office equipment is 250,000 based on the word question. So if you add this, this, this gives you 760,000. Now remember that we brought in goodwill. There was no good in the word question, but they say we should introduce goodwill of 350,000. That is what we have shared among the word partners. So goodwill will not come into the book, 350,000. Okay? So what are the current assets? Cash at hand. Cash at hand is now 245,000. Remember in the balance sheet, cash at bank is what? 45,000. Okay. So the Z partner brought in 200,000. So cash will increase to what? 245,000. That's what you have here. Cash at hand, 245,000. Then debt is 75,000 from the question. So basically, if you add this to this, you have 320,000. So 320 plus 320 plus 760 gives you 1,430,000. .4 so what are the liabilities in the question? Creditors, 80,000. Term loan, 250,000 is in the question. So we have 330,000 here. So the partner's capital now will be the new capital after the share. Look at it here. X is 420,000. That's it. 420,000. Y is 480,000. We have 480,000. Z is 200,000. We have 200,000. If you add 420, 480, 200, you have 1,100,000. So 1,100,000 plus 330 will give you 1,430,000. So total liability is 1,430,000. Total asset is 1,430,000. So this is the position after recognizing the goodwill. Now, we are asked to write off the goodwill after recognizing it. So, we've recognized the goodwill. Now, this is our revised balance sheet. We have X, Y, and Z now. This is what we have. Okay? Now, they say we should write off this goodwill. Remember, I told you that when you bring in the goodwill, okay, 
you debit good bill, credit the partners. But now you're writing it off, you have to what? Credit good bill and debit the partners. When you bring in good bill, you debit good bill, credit the partner. But when you're writing it off, credit good bill, debit the partners. Okay? <clears throat> so let's go. Balance brought forward. That's the revised balance sheet for 20,000. Look at it now. For X, Y, for 80,000 from the balance sheet that we just did. Z is 200,000. That's the capital that he brought in. Okay? Now let's share the goodwill. Remember, I said where you are writing off the good, you share the good among the partners in the new ratio. And the new ratio based on the question said they are to be shared equally. The new ratio said they should be shared what? Equally. Equally. So the good rule in the question is 350,000. So if you share it equally to be divided by what? 3. So 350,000 divided by 3, you have share of good here. X will take 116667. Y will take 116667. Z will take 116667. Okay? So that's basically it. So you've debited the capital account here. So let's balance up. X in the credit side has 420. X in debit side is 11667. So 420 minus 11667 to give you 303333. That's the balance carried down for X. Y credit side is 480. Y debit side is 1167. So 480 minus 1167 is 363337. That's the balance carried down for Y. Z is 200,000 here. 1167 in debit side. So 200,000 minus 1167 is 83333. That's the balance carried down for Z. So balance carried down becomes balance brought down here. 30334 X, 363333 for Y, and 83333 for Z. So this is the new capital account after writing off the word the good. Will so we prepare the balance sheet now. So this X, Y, and Z still on the financial point at 31st December 2019. So land and building is 240 based on the question, motor vehicle 270 based on the question, office equipment 250 based on the new balance sheet. You can see it here. Okay, now goodwill will disappear because it has been written off. So the next one is current asset. Our cash at hand remains 245,000. And then our debtors remains 75,000. So 320 plus 760 will give you what? 1080,000. So our liabilities, creditors is 80,000. Look at it there. Creditors, 80,000. Term loan, 250,000. That's it there. So 250 plus 80 is 330,000. Now our capital has changed from X now, we change from 420 to 30333 based on the new capital account. This is it. So this is the capital here. Y2 will change to 36333. Z changes from 200,000 to what? 83333. So when you add the three together, you have 750,000. So 750 plus 330 will give you 10800. So as total liability and that's equal to your total assets now this is revaluation of assets now aside from valuing goodwill and then recognizing it in the books it's also possible for the partners to revalue the assets of the business so revaluation of asset is the upward or downward review of the asset of the partnership what i'm saying is your partnership assets, that the resources, the assets you have in the business, has values. So you can decide to revalue them, either upward or downward, okay? Based on some criteria, you can decide to say, okay, if your office equipment is, uh, say, 1.2 million in the books, you can decide to revalue it to maybe 900,000 based on certain what criteria. So doing that in partnership is what we call revaluation of what? assets so basically uh the assets of the partnership you know uh uh can be revalued where you have admission of new partner retirement or death of an old partner or existing partner or change in profit and loss sharing ratio so basically uh these are the situations that can lead to revaluation of what assets when you bring in new partner when uh, an existing partner retires or dies or where there's a change in the profit and loss sharing ratio so usually by the time you revalue the asset of the of the partnership, the profit or loss on revaluation is usually shared among the partners in their old 
profit and loss sharing ratio. Now here is a summary of revaluation of assets. So what we're saying is that uh, this is the item behavior. Is the asset increasing or decreasing? So here, if the asset increases in value, say the asset, okay, let's say the equipment increases from hundred thousand to two hundred thousand, or let's say hundred thousand to one fifty thousand. Okay, so what do you do? Debit the asset account. Then credit revaluation accounts with what? With the what? Increased value. So if it is increasing from hundred thousand to fifty thousand, you are going to debit the asset account to fifty thousand. Credit revaluation account with what? Fifty thousand. Okay. Now if it's a decrease in value, say it decreases from hundred thousand to eighty thousand. So what do you do? You debit revaluation account with what? The twenty thousand. Credit to asset account with twenty thousand. Okay, so that 20,000 is a decrease value we're talking about here. So by the time you do this adjustment, you can either have profit on revaluation or loss on revaluation. Profit on revaluation is when you have more increases than decreases. Loss on revaluation is when you have more decreases than what? Increases. So profit on revaluation here, you're going to debit revaluation account and then you credit the what? The partner's current or capital account. So it's a current account when you're putting a fixed capital account. But if it's not, fiscal, if it's not a, a fixed capital account, there's no need to go to current account. Do you understand? So basically, I told you, if you're putting a fixed capital account, any excess goes to the current account. But if you're putting a floating or fluctuating capital account, any excess goes to the capital account. So in this case, if it's a fixed account, a fixed capital account, it goes to current account. If it's a floating capital account, it goes to capital what account. So if you have loss on revaluation, you debit the partner's current or capital account and credit what the revaluation uh, account. So basically, what we're saying here is that your assets, when revalued, can result into profit or loss. When there's a profit, it means that what the partners will have some credits. Okay, when we say loss, it means that the partners will have some what debits so let's look at this question the balance sheet of a and b who shares profit and losses equally is as shown below so we have a and b statement of financial position at 31st december 2009 so this is the land and building 240 motor vehicle 270 office equipment 250 so we have this cash at bank 45,000 debt or 75,000 we have this so this is the total asset liability we have creditors this term loan this Partners capital account, we have A and B, 280 to 70. So this is total asset, liabilities equal to the total asset. But now they're saying that upon admission of C, that they're admitting C as a new partner, it was agreed to revalue the asset as land and building 300,000, motor vehicle 245,000, office equipment 246,000. And then they're saying partner C is to bring 300,000 as capital. It was agreed to recognize goodwill of 400,000 in the book. The new share ratio is 2 to 3 to 4 among A, B, and C. They are now saying you are required to show the necessary account to record the revaluation. So the first thing is the revaluation account. Okay. So here is the revaluation account. So the debit side is for decreases, credit side is for what? Increases. So what is the first item? Land and building. So what is the value in the balance sheet? 240,000. What is the new value? Motor land and building is now 300,000. So 300,000 minus 240 is 60,000. That's the increased value. This is what you have here. The next one is motor vehicle, 270,000. What's the new value? 245,000. That's a decrease of what? 25,000. The next one is office equipment. How much is it? 250,000. There was a new value, 246,000. That's a decrease of what? 4,000. So basically, 25 plus 4,000 is what? 29,000. 60,000 is the increase here. So total increase here is 60,000. Total decrease is what? 29,000. So 60,000 minus 29,000 gives us what? 31,000. And that is what? The profit on revaluation because you have more increase than decrease. So you shared among the what? Partners in their old ratio. And the old ratio here said they are sharing it what? Equally. So that means you have 31,000 divided by 2, 15,500, B, 15,500. So this will be credited to what? Partner's capital account. So here's the partner's capital account. Balance brought forward. What do you have? A from the question is 280,000. B is 270,000. You can see C didn't have anything. Okay. Now share of goodwill. Remember, they brought in goodwill. You say that what? C is uh, there to 
uh, it was agreed to recognize goodwill of 400,000. And I told you, when you're bringing in goodwill for the first time, you share it in the what? Old sharing ratio. So that is why the new partner is not taking any share here. So sharing of goodwill here, now we have 200,000, 200,000, because they were sharing it equally. Okay? Remember that in the question. And then now, the revaluation profit that was shared, A took 15.5. That's it here. B took 15.5. That is it here. Now remember that was his name. Uh, C brought in what a cash of three hundred thousand as capital. So that's the cash you have here, three hundred thousand. So when you balance up, C is three hundred thousand here. He has no debit, so balance carry down is three hundred thousand. B is what four eighty five thousand five hundred. No credit, no debit. So carry down is four eighty five five hundred. A has what. 495500 no debit to so guidance is 495500 your balance guidance becomes your balance brought down here 495500 485500 and 300000 so the new capital for what a is 495500 the new capital for b is 485500 the new capital for c is 200000 now look at our cash account here remember we have a cash of 45000 based on the question Okay, but C brought in capital in cash of how much? 300,000. So our cash will increase to what? 345,000. That's the balance card that we have here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's do the balance sheet based on the question. So now our land and building has changed to what? 300,000. That's the new value. Okay. Our motor vehicle has changed to 245,000. That's the new value. The vehicle. Office equipment has changed to 246,000. That is the new value. Now, we brought in goodwill into the business, 400,000. If you remember, good of one to be brought in the book. Cash at bank has increased from 45,000 to 345. Look at it here. Our debtors in the question remains the same. New information on debtors. So this plus this plus this is 791,000. Goodwill is 400,000. Total current asset is 420,000. If you add this, this, and this, you have 1,611,000. Our liabilities now, creditors is 80,000. Based on the question, you can see creditors are 80,000. Term loan is 250,000. Based on the question. So if you add this to this, you have 330,000. Okay, now our capital, you know, we now have three partners. A has changed to what? 495,500. That's what you have here. B has changed to 485,500. The new partner C brought in 300,000. So if you add this, this, and this, you have 1,021,000. So 1,021,000 plus 330,000, you have 1,611,000. Total liabilities equal to total assets. So that is the balance sheet after admitting C and what revaluing the assets and also recognizing the goodwill. So this is uh, the class on accounting for goodwill and revaluation of assets in partnership. So I will encourage you to go through the uh, class again. If you have questions, you can reach me on 08136506356 or send me an email, jeremiah.doso at gmail.com. You can drop questions in the comment section. I will let you reply with the right answer. Meet me in the next class as we take dissolution of partnership. Thank you.